Hey what's up guys, No Nonsense here, bringing you a Gods of Boom video. In this video I'm going to discuss all of the assault rifles and sniper rifles that you unlock from when you start the game to level 10. If you recognise my voice, I did used to have a channel called One and a Half Bite. In this video we're going to compare the Mamba versus the Vampire. Now I'm back to make content on Gods of Boom. Okay, so we're going to talk about these guns in the order that you unlock them from 0 to 10. And we're going to assume that you're using the class that pairs the sniper rifle and the assault rifle together. If you don't use this class, I'm going to make a video on the shotguns and the machine guns. And then you can merge the two depending on which one you like. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the Legend and the Veteran. The first two assault rifles and sniper rifles that you unlock in the game. So the Legend does 63 damage to the body and 79 damage to the head per shot. So that's 441 damage per second to the body and 553 per second to the head. And the Veteran does 387 damage to the body and ranges between 730 to 750 damage to the head. Now, I just want to put out a disclaimer that these damages are the ones that I found whilst playing the game. Also need to take into account people's armour that they're buying from level 0 to level 10. Obviously the higher up we go the more armour there will be and the damage will be reduced. But the damages that I display on this game will be as I found them. Moving on to the guillotine and the undertaker. The guillotine does 74 damage to the body and 111 damage to the head. And that's 518 per second to the body and 777 per second to the head. The damage might show differently in the video right now because I was using the guillotine later on in the levels. I think it was like level 9 and people had slightly higher armor than they do and they're earlier on in the game. But let's move on to the Undertaker. So the Undertaker does 80 to 120 damage depending on how close you are. So actually the closer you get the less damage you do. So the further the better. And that's between 121 to 183 to the head per shot. That's 230 to 369 per second to the body, or 363 to 549 per second to their head. I personally don't use the guillotine or the undertaker. I would advise to completely skip these two to save on money. Upgrading the veteran and the legend is far better choice. Okay, so we'll move on to the next two, which is the sting and the falcon. Now the sting is actually weaker than the first two guns, the legend and the guillotine. And being a third gun, I kind of expected it to do a little more. It does have burn damage, which can be quite annoying, but I still expected the damage in general to be a lot higher. It does 63 to the body and 82 to the head per shot. So that's 183 per second to the body and 256 per second to the head. If you add the burn damage though, that is 175 damage over the five ticks that it does every half a second. The Falcon does 422 damage to the body and exactly double that to the head, 844. Again, I advise to completely skip these two. They are not worth the money whatsoever. The Falcon, it does have a perk, which means it does more damage to the head. As you can see that it does double, but I still think that saving up your money and not buying the Falcon or the Sting is gonna be worth your while. The next two, I think you should be saving your money up from the Legend to the Slicer. The Slicer is a three burst gun, so it does 137 damage to the body each shot and 185 damage to the head. That's 411 to the body per second and 555 to the head. I would recommend unlocking the Slicer. Even though it does slightly less damage than the Legend and the Guillotine, I find it is a lot more accurate and you can deal more damage downrange. You can then hit more shots, which will then in turn mean you're doing more damage. Even though it does less damage than the Legend and the Guillotine, I still find that I win more firefights with it. Pair that with the Punisher. The Punisher does 453 damage to the body and with the Punisher's perk, the headshot damage ranges between 861 and 1533. Obviously that depends on the person's health. I always found that I could two shot people with a Punisher, one to the body and then finish him off to the head. I'm gonna stress that you miss out the guillotine and the sting and also the undertaker and the falcon. You should have enough money to buy either the slicer or the Punisher or both at this point and you'll be a lot better off for it. Vastly moving up the cash ladder here because these two guns do cost a lot more than the four we've already spoken about. Now of the assault rifles that I'm going to talk about in this video, the Vampire is definitely my favourite and I'm going to tell you why. It does 126 damage to the body and 189 to the head. And per second I couldn't decide how many shots it does, it was either 7 or 8. That's around 882 damage to 1008 to the body and 1323 to 1512 to the head, which is crazy. With its healing effect of 44 health per shot, 
That's 308 to 352 health per second. That's a possible regen of 3960 if you include all shots for both clips. At the level that you unlock the Vampire, that will heal you over twice. The Vampire is brilliant, but the next sniper rifle to pair it with is absolutely trash. The Manticore does 775 to 968 to the body, depending on the time due to its perk. And I found it did 755 to 977 to the head, obviously dependent on its perk. So yes, you did actually see that. It does more damage to the body sometimes than it does to the head. Why does it do that? I have no idea. The perk says that within five seconds it would do more damage, but within five seconds of what? Within within five seconds of you spawning, within five seconds of you shooting, reloading. I had no idea how much damage I was going to do with this gun, and I just, I no, you just completely stay away from it. Okay, so the next assault rifle is the scatter shot. The scatter shot does 92 to the body and 138 to the head. That's 736 per second to the body and 1,104 damage to the head. I also think that the gun shoots multiple bullets at once. And it was really hard to count how many damage per second this gun does because I saw that there was two damage hits every now and again that happened at the same time. Overall, good iron sights. I actually did enjoy using this gun. Moving on to the Thanatos, this is a mega lethal weapon. It did between 714 and 1022 to the body and 1784 to 2066 to the head, frequently killing someone in just one shot. It does only have eight shots to the whole gun and you have to reload after every shot and you also have to be scoped in to shoot. However, the firing circle is quite quick, so be careful not to lose those valuable bullets. You have to buy this gun with gold, so it's completely up to you whether you do or not. Some people do save their gold up so they can buy the Juggernaut later on at level 34, but you know, I like the Thanatos. I probably would buy it. So the next gun is called the Destroyer. Destroyer, you also have to use gold to buy it. Again, completely worth doing so. It does 138 to 184 damage to the body, and 129 to 278 to the head. So that's 690 to 925 per second to the body, and 645 to 1390 per second to the head. They have changed the iron sights since I last used this gun, and I definitely prefer them as they are now. I also find that if you stop moving, the reticle gets smaller and you're able to land more shots. Obviously, if you stop moving, then people are going to land more shots on you. But if they haven't seen you and you're shooting them from behind or from the side, I do recommend just standing still to kill them. Pair that with the next sniper rifle, which is the Scout, and you'll do very well indeed. The Scout does between 420 and 433 to the body and 557 to the head. That's 840 to 866 per second to the body and 1,114 per second to the head. There is a perk on this gun that also lets you move 20% quicker and, and damn can you feel it. I've also seen people pair this gun with a shotgun so they can rush into the game right at the beginning and then flip out the shotgun to make sure that they're in close quarters. Of the sniper rifles that I'm going to talk about in this video, the Punisher, the Scout and the Thanatos are the three that I would consider buying. So Scout, really good up there. Next, we're on to the Mamba. The Mamba does 103 to the body and 139 to the head. So that's 618 per second to the body and 834 to the head. The rectacle on this gun is always very small. It does not change if you move. So it means it is super accurate. However, you cannot actually look down the iron sights. Moving on to the last assault rifle in this video, the Incinerator. Incinerator does 153 to the body and 245 to the head. So that's 612 to the body per second and 1470 per second to the head. However, the burn damage does 153 damage per burn also, which adds up to 765 overall the duration of the burns, which is nuts for just hitting them once with one shot. You do 765 damage over the burn damage. Okay, so we've gone through all of the assault rifles and sniper rifles in zero to 10. We can now see a summary of all of the assault rifles. Again, I've said that I would choose the Vampire out of this, and I'm definitely going to save up for it. Moving on to the Sniper Rifles, again, it would be Scout, Punisher, or Thanatos to me. I think because the Scout and the Punisher have both got really good perks, I'm going to stick with those two. I don't know which one out of the two I'm going to pick, though. Now that you have all the information you need to to make an informed choice, what are you going to do? Are you going to save up for the Slicer and the Punisher? Are you going to buy the Guillotine and the Sting? Are you just going to buy every gun? What are you going to do? Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.